Hi, and thanks for tuning in to the Gadget 401 hands on review of the Verizon Droid. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank Verizon for providing us with this one. They are some great people. All right, let's get started. Let's move that on out the way. We already got it on slid out the box here. We're going to go ahead and pull it out. We're looking at the 3.7 inch WVGA display with some with four buttons for a quick navigation. We got the back button here. Let's we got the back button there. We got the menu button there, the home button and the search button. Now if you go ahead and rotate the phone to the left, you'll see just a a charger port slash USB and if you rotate it to the right you'll see the volume up and down buttons which camouflage with the phone and uh, a camera button for easy access to the camera. You can go ahead and flip uh, to the top where you'll find the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for listening to music and the power slash lock button. If you slide the phone up here uh, it'll turn it on and you'll have the QRT keypad with the D-pad to the right of it for up, down, left, right, and select. Um, pretty small keyboard and it's pretty stiff sliding it up. It seems like, you know, it, to me it's stiff on the slide up so that's a problem. Uh, but otherwise, let's go ahead and look at the inside of this phone. First off, you'll notice the new Android 2.0 software. Um, this is the first device with the 2.0 software on it. So still a little glitchy, but it should be some updates coming soon. To unlock the phone, you go ahead and do that. And first off, I just the device has a lot of Google apps and services built in. I'm gonna show you a couple of those real quick. First off, you got the Google search. The Google search is at the top here. Um, you can pretty much type anything. Let's say I wanted to search the, uh, if I can type here, the gadget 401. Let's say I wanted to type that and I go ahead and click search. And it opens up the web browser. Now I did this all from the home screen of the Droid. I hit search and it brought up the web browser and it brought up the Gadget for One's website. Also included in this search is a voice search where I can go ahead and hit the voice button and it's gonna search. I didn't pretty much say anything but it searched Wi-Fi. I didn't say Wi-Fi but this phone does have Wi-Fi Bluetooth built into it. As you'll notice it loaded up the Google homepage because it does have an HTML browser also built into it. Um, for loading full web pages. So that's the HTML browser, but this phone does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 2.0 stereo. Also 3G network speed, as you see running the internet. Another thing, another Google app or service that's built in with this is the um, maps with navigation. Let's say I go ahead and hit Google Maps. It's gonna give me my current location and Let's say I wanted to go to Best Buy, which had already loaded up there since I was already, I did this video prior. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and go to Best Buy. I hit, navig uh, I hit Navigate, and it'll tell me, it'll load up Google Maps with navigation. Head east on Cloverdale Avenue towards Rose Lane. And there you have it. It'll tell you the step-by-step -step directions of the navigation to my local Best Buy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the home screen, the home button. And another Google thing built in is G Talk. You can, you know, Google Talk with your Google contacts. You can, you got YouTube built in, you got Google Latitude built in where you can see where your friends are located on the map near you. Also, you got Google Calendar built in. Um, Another thing I wanted to show you guys is the second icon on here, which is the camera. Um, Google and Verizon and Motorola put a 5 megapixel camera in this, which is capable of shooting DVD quality and for quick uploading straight to YouTube, which you can actually do from this phone. Um, 
<laughs> you're wondering with five megapixels, how much memory you're gonna get out of this built in, out of the box. Well, they're so generous, they provided you with a 16 gigabyte memory card right in the box. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much generous for them to give you a 16 gigabyte memory card right in the box. Um, another thing, another thing I wanted to hit on was the Android market. The Android market is, um, your access for downloading pretty much a lot of apps. Uh, I heard it was over 10,000 apps in the Android market at this point in time. You can download pretty much anything from games to apps to different stuff on the Verizon network. Also, you do have access to download the Verizon MP3 store where you can, um, I don't mean to buy that, the Amazon store where you can buy MP3s on the go, just like something Apple has with its iPhone and the App Store. Another, I'm going to go ahead and get off of that. I'm going to hit the home screen button. Another thing I wanted to hit on was your contacts. You can sync your contacts with your Gmail, your Exchange, your Facebook. Uh, you can sync up to your device. So if you go to a contact in your device, you can see its Facebook page, its pictures, off its Facebook page, um, contacts, uh, dates, appointments with that person, or pretty much anything you need to know when a, with that person that's in your contacts. So you see its pictures and everything. So that's a good thing for syncing back and forth if you're a person with a lot of contacts and need to keep them, you know, up to date. And that's all for the review on the Verizon Droid. If you'd like to check out more mobile reviews or technology reviews, check out our website. Our website is thegadget411.com. That is thegadget411.com. Also, you can follow us on Twitter where you can find a lot of gadget news. Our Twitter feed is twitter.com slash thegadget411. Till next time, goodbye.